we'll be doing the May dashboard is what I like to call this page in my Villa Beautiful line vertical planner. This is the first page of May. So we have April, then the May divider, May dashboard, and then and this is um, like a, an actual dashboard page. So that's what I'm going to work on today. And I chose the Villa Beautiful Ooh La La kit from January of this year. Um, all the parts of it, the washi, the sticker book, and the bits and pieces, I think this was called. So I'm going to use those because May is date your mate month. So I thought that would be fun to do a little love theme. Enjoy. Today's voiceover is about date your mate month. So I will be reading today from nationaltoday.com. Date Your Mate Month takes place every May, and we are ecstatic to celebrate this unique and fun way of bringing people together. Relationships take work, be it standing up for your partner, understanding them, or keeping the romance alive. You have to continue doing what you did before you started dating, and having busy lives is not an excuse. Why not come up with creative ways to treat your partner? Go out of your way and show your significant other how special they are to you. This can be in spontaneous, fun, and inexpensive ways. The goal is to bring back the romance and reignite that spark to strengthen your relationship. The history of Date Your Mate Month. We've heard of plenty of quirky and unique holidays, but Date Your Mate Month is surely up there. We aren't sure when this holiday started, but we're grateful for it. George Aid, a columnist in, at a newspaper, coined the word date in the context of relationships. He wrote a column on working class lives, in which he told the story of a clerk named Artie whose girlfriend was losing interest in him and began seeing other men socially. When Artie confronted his girlfriend about this, he said to her, I, su I suppose the other boys fill in all my dates. <laughs> I think that I gave that a southern accent because of the spose and the fill-in. <laughs> Sorry, I'll keep reading. The concept of courtship and dating has been around for quite a while now with new forms of dating also arising through the years. However, it's really easy to get stuck in a routine when you've been dating someone for a while or are married to them. While there's nothing wrong with having a lazy evening at home with your partner, it's still important to do different things to keep the excitement levels up in a relationship. We need to continue making an effort in our relationship and not just for this one month, but if the flame is fizzling out, this month serves as a great reminder of that. Date Your Mate Month has gained popularity and is the perfect time for couples to do a little extra something for their partners. NationalToday.com has some Date Your Mate Month activities. Number one is plan a surprise proposal. Have you been waiting for the perfect moment to put a ring on it? What better time to do this than in your in Date Your Mate Date Your Mate Month? Goodness, that's a mouthful. Plan a romantic or fun surprise proposal for your partner and set the tone for a lifetime of happiness together. You will, sh you will surely both cherish this moment for the rest of your lives. Number two, go on a vacation. Have you and your partner been bitten by the travel bug but don't have the time to take a long vacation? Date your mate month is the perfect opportunity to satiate your wanderlust. Plan a vacation in a nearby location, book a cozy hotel or apartment, and surrender yourself to a weekend full of cuddles and adventure. I do have to say, personally, it's a little tricky when you have kids. Just say it. But you can do other things that are lots of fun. Number three, replicate your first date. Remember that feeling you had when you went on your first date with your partner? The butterflies in your stomach and the excitement? How about replicating that first date and reliving that whole experience? It's a perfect way to rekindle the romance of your relationship. And finally, we have five facts about dating that will blow your mind. Number one, dating could put you in prison. 
Before the turn of the last century, when dating was still a new concept, it could land you behind bars. Number two, from Russia with love. Russian men give an odd number of flowers to their dates to symbolize that the beauty of their woman will make the bouquet an even number. Number three, China has dating schools. China has a dating school that endeavors to teach young people how to woo potential partners through a series of intensive online and in-person courses. Number four, speed dating is based on a Jewish tradition. Speed dating was invented by a rabbi and is based on a Jewish tradition where young singles meet under the supervision of a chaperone. And number five, Japan's Valentine's Day. In Japan, the females purchase chocolates for their partners on Valentine's Day and receive nothing in return. Let me know in the comments below how you plan to celebrate Date Your Mate Month. Also, let me know if you have any questions or comments or suggestions. All done. Thank you for watching. Come again. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I'll see you next time. Stay inspired. Bye.